We're breaking down the draft for all 32 teams. Right now we're looking at the Dallas Cowboys. And Eric, just in terms of the needs that the Cowboys had going into the draft, how would you say they fared? I think pretty well. You know, the aggressive trade-up for Morris Claiborne addressed the huge issue in the secondary. And, you know, most people didn't peg cornerback as the biggest need, but it makes a lot of sense. They found a guy who can press cover, fit the Rob Ryan scheme of defense. And they had so many communication breakdowns. Ten guys on the field, twelve guys on the field, blown coverages. And I think they had to get a special player back there. Signing Brandon Carr as well in the offseason. Yeah. A pretty good duo there now for the Cowboys. So what were your favorite and least favorite picks? I, I don't want to get too cute here. It was Claiborne, the aggressive yeah. trade-up. You know, even losing that second round pick probably could have found a productive player there. They weren't going to get a player as special as Claiborne at 14, so they had to go up. He's got the long arms. I think he's going to fit that press style. If he learns to, to fill his potential and maybe return kickoffs as well, we could be talking about a defensive rookie of the year candidate here. What about on the flip side? Which pick kind of, I don't know, we don't, don't want to call it the worst, but your least favorite? Well, we talked about needs a second ago, and I really thought they still needed a little bit more help on the offensive line. Signed a couple of guards in the offseason, but depth's still a little bit shaky, especially inside. So for me, it was Matt Johnson, the safety. Fourth round, he projects probably to be a special teamer. Uh, even though there is a need at safety, I don't think he's that guy to fill the need. They also could have used another running back with all the guys who have uh, injury potential there at that position. So when you take it all into account, you look at it as a whole, what kind of grade are you giving? You know, I give it a B minus, and I'm hedging a little bit because I think the Claiborne pick's outstanding, and they may have future starters and guys like Tyrone Crawford, Kyle Wilbur, uh, if Anthony Spencer leaves next year. Danny Colt might surprise this year. They have a need of a number three receiver. But, um, you know, missing a pick there, and maybe some of the lower picks not as inspired. So I think it's a good draft with a B minus, but not maybe a great one right away. If Claiborne turns into be the superstar that they hope he is, it'll probably be boost, it boosting that grade up quite a bit. That's a look at the Dallas Cowboys draft. We'll have grades for all 32 teams. You can check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.